The plans on the table, do you think they go far enough? The policy initiatives from this administration to relink exactly what you're focused on? No, they go far enough, John, to make a credible attempt to address both short and longer term economic issues. You know, the package that's on the table and what's going to come in February addresses immediate relief, addresses fighting COVID better, addresses increasing productivity and household insecurity. But the market has sprinted way, way ahead of this on the basis of what the, the monetary agency has been doing, on what, the based on what central banks have been doing. So think of the gap being like this. What we're doing, hopefully, is improving the economic fundamentals, but the market is all the way up here. So there's going to be a real question mark as what does the Fed, because that the Fed is responsible for the up here, what does the Fed do while this is improving? My own gut feeling is, is they'll wait and wait and wait and hope that the market itself doesn't have a major hiccup. Let's build on this, Mohammed, from a behavioural science perspective, which I know is something you focused on this morning. Do you think that markets react to policy or increasingly policy is reacting to markets? It's the unhealthy codependency. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that markets have been conditioned to expect ample and predictable support from central banks. And what happened this year in reaction to a 20 basis point move in, in the yield curve just reconfirmed this. What Madame Lagarde said yesterday at the ECB when she stressed three times the sentence about preserving loose, accommodating financial conditions, that reaffirms this. So the market is absolutely convinced that the central banks are there to, to support. And that's why every sell-off has been a buying opportunity. On the other hand, on the other side, we've seen the central banks respond very quickly to any market dislocation. So I think of it as this very unhealthy codependency. Both sides know that for the longer term well-being, they need to get out of it. But no one quite knows how to do this. And certainly no one wants to do this now.